Hey YEG Nation, this is Austin here on another episode of everything we've been doing with YEG Nation. You guys have been in tune, you guys have been checking it out. Thank you very much for joining us again. Uh, today we have Tim Cartmel here from Ward 9. Tim, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Uh, so to, to start off with, uh, we're, we're here today in, in Tim's campaign office in the Windermere area, uh, right behind the VIP theater, literally right there, which is awesome. Uh, so Tim, tell us a little bit about uh, why you're running and, and what got you into, uh, into politics. Sure, yeah. Well, thanks for the opportunity. Um, so I am a civil engineer, self-employed. I've uh, been an engineer for 30 years. Uh, my business is built on designing and managing building projects. And uh, I've got about 30 years of uh, volunteer service as well, primarily in the community. So things like coaching uh, hockey and soccer, working for various uh, community groups in uh, support of the rec center, the GO center, uh, new theater at Lillian Osborne High School. Uh, and I've been on a bunch of consultation committees for things like uh, White Mud Drive, uh, High Speed Transit out to the West End, uh, Bikes, Trails and Pathways Committee for the City of Edmonton. So a uh, combination of skills and experience that I think uh, have some value and uh, so I want to get there and actually uh, contribute. Awesome. So just kind of curious and in, in, because we're in the Windermere area, why, why did you pick this particular area to centralize yourself in? Just out of, out of curiosity. Well, this was the available space, quite frankly. So, I mean, it, it's, uh, you know, had there been a space closer to home, uh, given the traffic in this neighborhood, we certainly would have taken it. Yeah, that, and I think you experienced that just a moment ago. A, a so, little, just a little yeah, bit. Yeah, um, yeah. Why, why uh, what, do you live in, you live in Ward 9? I do indeed, yeah. So tell yeah, us. For 20 years. Yeah. Nice. So what is, what is your, why Ward 9 for you? What do you like about Ward 9, I guess, specifically in terms of the whole of Edmonton? Well, Ward 9 is my home. I've lived here for well over 20 years. I've raised my children in this community. They've gone to the schools in this community. They've played on the teams in this community. Uh, the things I've done, things like the rec center, have been in, primarily in support of the community that I want to leave behind for my kids. Uh, you know, I want them to make Edmonton home the way I made Edmonton home. It's important to me. It's the city I love. And uh, this is the corner of the city that we've chosen to live in. Uh, I grew up on the north side. My wife grew up on the south side. and. Uh, so this is where we chose to be. That's a nice happy compromise. And, well, you know, when, <laughs> when it's baby time, you want your wife to be happy when it's baby time, and close to mom was a happy place to be. So, yeah. You bet. So yeah. uh, in terms of in terms of Ward Nine, this is a very interesting race. Um, obviously, with it being uh, having having an incumbent councillor and a yep. lot of really uh, really powerful personalities and really awesome initiatives going on within the ward. Um, you know, we've met with a couple Ward Nine candidates so far, um, and and we're glad to have some some more. And we plan to cover everyone. Um, how how do you how do you plan on uh, influencing the ward and, and being a good representative for for the, uh, Ward Nine and and all of council? Well, so first of all, it's knowing the ward and knowing the issues in the ward. You know, and so. Uh, having that long history in this neighborhood and watching it grow up, uh, I can tell you that this wasn't even a thought on, the, on, on anybody's mind, you know, 20 years ago when we moved in. This was empty field here. Uh, so watching this grow and progress uh, during my lifetime here and my work here, is, I, I know it. But at the same time, uh, no one can say that they know community and that they know everything there is to know about a community. It is an evolving, changing, living, breathing thing. And uh, that's the exciting thing about it. So. I know that uh, a, a key component of my campaign is that we are going to build some formal yet informal consultation processes. We're going to build some feedback loops that are that you know have a formal regular meeting kind of an approach, but have an informal format so that we we gain the information that we need, that we gain the input and the collaboration that we need from the constituents of the of the ward. Uh, you know, my role is first and foremost as an advocate, as an ombudsman, and so it's absolutely important that we're dialed into what people are seeing in their neighborhoods and in their communities. So building on that consultation process uh, and that engagement thing that we're going to build, um, taking that, applying my skills and knowledge and experience as a project manager and engineer, uh, that is a solution-based environment that I work in. I'm, I am employed and I am trained to be uh, a consensus builder and a problem solver. And so finding, taking those issues forward, coming up with reasonable solutions for them, I think is the skill that I have. And I think that that's uh, really needed at City Council. Awesome. With, with that, uh, and, and again, with uh, you know, your perspective position that you're looking to hold as a councillor of, uh, of the City of Edmonton, 
where where do you feel that you'd be uh, an advocate or, or where do you feel that you can you know, help improve our, our city in, in diversity um, and in the engaging the younger communities uh, of Edmonton as part of our you know that's our platform with YAG Nation right we like to focus on things like that yeah absolutely you know uh, Edmonton is the youngest city in Canada certainly the youngest city in Western Canada uh, and the the cohort of uh, 35 and under is the largest voting block in Canada. So, you know, uh, I think it's really important that, that youth understand that. I expect for, for the most part that they do. But they're a real force in any of our elections, municipal, provincial, or federal. And uh, they really have an opportunity to influence and, and move the dial. So, you know, I embrace that. I want to, I want to see that engagement, that involvement. You know, uh, electing uh, elected officials, elected representation are policy-setting people. And so they're, they are talking about and, and putting policy in place that influences the next 20, 25, 30 years of, in, on the city perspective of what's going to be developed, what's going to be built, and how it's going to be built. Uh, you know, for my generation and for generations older, uh, you know, they're going to see that evolution, but their days are past in a, long, in a sense. You know, you take your average 25-year-old that's, that's going to... Uh, get a job here, build a career here, build a business here, perhaps uh, you know, choose a partner here, perhaps raise children here, be in that community. It's, it's really important that we engage that cohort, we engage those people to understand what they want this city to look like in 30 years. It's key. You know, we're making generational investments, not just you know, street posts and street lamps for the next street down the road, but what's it going to look like in 20, 25, 30 years? Right. Well, and that's and something that we've been really learning and really, um, you know, myself specifically, as I, as I say to lots of people, you know, I'm 23 and I've never voted. Right. Um, and I mean, again, I've only been able to vote for five years, but the fact that, you know, you, as, as a lot of young, as long as young Edmontonians, I'm sure, don't know what, you know, asset management and, and what, what consultation really means for the communities. Sure. These are really big things that we want to start talking about. And, right. and fortunately, we've been able to do that a little bit recently. Um, but again, as you said, you know, we want the young Edmonton community community to, to really be able to engage and have conversations in, in spaces like this, right? So right. Um, with with that, uh, and again, with the kind of the young Edmonton community, what do you see in, in Ward 9 that the young Edmonton community can uh, maybe a little bit more engaged with, can understand a little bit more directly to, sure. and where concepts like that, where asset management and, and consultation can really tie into? Well, consultation is better understanding the issues of those people. Of and, course. You know, elections are at their heart. There are two things. They are a community consultation process. You know, going around and knocking on 36,000 doors is pretty direct consultation, right, if you can get to them all. Uh, but at the same time, it is, it, it's the opportunity to understand what those issues are in each community. And so what we're finding is in the newer communities, which are, you know, by correlation, the younger communities, is that people don't have the supports, the amenities, the things they need to be in their community most of the time and, and largely live their lives in their community. They're having to leave their communities to do just about anything. So you'll see on our platform, in my platform, that we're about building better communities. And I, would like, I like the idea of community hubs. So I'd like to see us do things like get those amenities in early that allow communities to uh, build some association, build some community gathering, build that community league, build that assembly. There's simply no places to do that. I would like to see us collaborate, for instance, with the provincial government and build the first parts of schools in these community hubs. So the classrooms might not be there, for instance, and the teachers may not be there, but we can put the office and the gymnasium and the parking lot out there, and we can add, you know, a childcare, uh, perhaps a grocery store, perhaps a, uh, you know, social services outlet, so that people have those things in their community at the, at the next corner of the block. So, and be able to move in that community and have those things available instead of having to travel to different parts of our ward, different parts of our community for them. And it's really not a matter of dollars, it's a matter of making those investments that we're going to make anyway. Make them in collaboration and get them in there earlier so that as people move in those things are there and as those neighborhoods grow those things evolve and, and the supports are there and grow and develop as the community grows and develops. Not waiting for 15 years to pass by before people have the time to build a community league, for instance. Right. So fundamental things like that. I think that that uh, serves and speaks to that younger cohort that is beginning to look at those things in the next stage of their life, right? Right. And I think if those are things that are important to youth, that perhaps they need to really understand that they, as a, blo a voting bloc, have a massive amount of influence and a massive power to move the needle and change the things that are going to be there when they get there.
Right. Well, and that's again understanding that we that we as the Young Edmonton community can build help help build the future of what we want our city to be, and especially that you know making sure we have a proper infrastructure in place, making sure we have cool places to hang out, right. making sure we still have maybe even developing another type of white app somewhere else in the city like these are all cool things that sure. are very possible that our young Edmonton community can right. do um, and I mean that's it's it's great to have you know people that are interested in running it running as counselors and candidates uh, for city council that you know those ideas can be relayed and, and not, ne not necessarily means again we're gonna build skate parks all over the place but right. uh, but just you know the, to keep that to keep that kind of thing in place so uh, do you have any other any other points that are, are of, of Things that you really wanted to talk about to, to our, our viewership of YG Nation? Well, I think you talked about skateboard parks, and I don't think it's quite that, but I think there is, you know, certainly a, a heightened sense of sustainable development that we need to speak to. And, uh, you know, I want to see that. As an engineer, uh, I'm taught and trained to maximize and leverage all of our assets to the maximum amount. I want to see us do that. So before we start building too far out, let's try to make sure that we have the assets within our city footprint and let's try to maximize and elevate those things. Let's try to do that in a sustainable way. So, you know, environmentally conscious, alternative methods of transportation, making sure that we have those, those things, those forms. We need to balance that with, you know, critical issues that we have to solve today, but we need to solve those critical issues today with, through a lens that says, what is this going to look like tomorrow? And what do we want to do along the way to make sure that we have what we want tomorrow? Right. right. Those are very important things to talk about here. Tim, thank you so much for, for joining us with YAG Nation. My pleasure. We, uh, we look forward to hearing more, uh, more about uh, your platform here. If you guys are looking to uh, check uh, more out about Tim, um, we'll make sure to put all, a couple links to, to his, his campaign website and, and make sure you guys can get that information. Again, thank you very much, Tim, for joining us here. YAG Nation, do not forget to vote Monday, October 16th, 2017. Uh, we're going to be getting up some videos soon to talk about what kind of ID to vote, uh, how to vote, where you where you can find out where to vote um, all the most important things here and uh, we'll make sure to do that for Ward 9 here for uh, Tim's uh, potential constituents advanced poll October 4th to the 13th at the rec center there you go that's something we didn't know yet Ward, Ward 9 YG Nation right. thanks for joining us